You hear a lot of people complain about their knees. Oftentimes, surgery seems to be the only option, but now a local doctor has an invented an alternative. And the really surprising thing, it takes just five minutes. CBS 4's health specialist, Dr. Sean Kniff, takes a look at how this works. After suffering a terrible knee injury, Yvette Cordosa tried pills, shots, and two surgeries to cure the pain. When nothing worked, doctors wanted to operate again. The knee was never 100% and I didn't want to go through surgery number three. She wanted a more hands-on approach. More specifically, she wanted these hands belonging to knee specialist Dr. Patrick Barry. I can get them well without going to surgery. I'm happy, they're happy, and this is kind of what you went to medical school for. Though he's performed more than 10,000 knee surgeries himself, Dr. Barry now prefers to keep his skills and his patients out of the OR by using a non-surgical technique he developed called manipulation mobilization. It's kind of like chiropractic care, but for the knee. This, I think, is a big, big breakthrough. Barry believes arthritis and other knee injuries cause people to change the way they walk, and that weakens muscles. The pain comes when the kneecap and other knee structures misalign. His manipulation mobilization technique simply lifts the kneecap and fixes it back into place. It requires no anesthesia, no recovery, and it takes only a few seconds to perform. 95% of them will get rid of a huge amount of their pain and just get rejuvenated restore to life. It's dramatic. Yvette, no longer out of options, is finally out of pain. I don't know what he does to it. He manipulates it. No surgery. And I'm fine. Just two hands and she's back on her feet. And Dr. Barry says sometimes it takes two to three manipulation sessions to maximize the pain relief, and he often combines it with special at-home exercises to prevent the knee from sliding out of alignment again. And you can see more about his technique on our website, CBS4.com. Dr. Sean Kniff, CBS4 News. Wow, thanks.